Hey guys, my name is Crimson, and I got something different for you today. So a buddy of mine gave me this laptop right here. It's a Sony Vio. It has an i7, 8 gigs of RAM. It was, it was pretty good. It had a lot of stuff in it. But the problem was, his screen broke. So, a little broke. And so after that, you start using it as a desktop. You could plug it into a monitor through HDMI. And every once in a while, he'll go on the TV by unplugging it and replugging it to a different one. So he can watch YouTube or something on TV. Big problem with that was when he unplugged it, replugged it, unplugged it, replugged it so many times, the HDMI broke. So, useless to him, he doesn't have VGA, and he gave it to me because he's like, yeah, you're, you're a guy like technology, you just go ahead and look at it. So I, I got it, and I looked at the, it had i7, 8 gigs of RAM, and the i7 was a, which, obviously here's the motherboard, put it over here. The i7 runs right here, it's a 32, uh, not 32, 36, 32 QM, which is a 2.2 gigahertz to 2.9 gigahertz quad core. Single core also runs at uh, 3.2 gigahertz if you can get it, you know, it to work that high. We'll see if that happens though, I don't know. Uh, it came with 8 gigs of 9 year RAM. So I got two sticks right here, 4 gigs. I'm using a 64 gig SSD for this project and a 200 gigabyte uh, hard drive for this project. I also have a 3 terabyte in my computer behind this TV and a GTX 1080 that's going to go into this build. I also have a 600 watt power supply and I also bought a uh, heat sink for this that is specifically going to work for this build. It's a G2 socket is which what this uh, processor is. And after I found out what socket it was, the heat sinks for it, I found out they make motherboards for these. So I was like, there has to be a way to put a laptop hardware in a desktop. So I went on the internet, I googled the Google to try to find stuff. $300, $400 for these motherboards. They're ITX motherboards, here's one of them. I found this one on eBay for 60 bucks. It has a G2 socket, it's made by ASRock. It's an IMV 170. And this heat sink's just gonna fit right on there. It's made for it, it's built for it. Same for this uh, chipset cooler because this this compute this motherboard did not have a chipset cooler. It's gonna go right here. And since this mo uh, this processor doesn't have a, a lid on the lid on it, we're just going straight from die to heat sink. It's gonna be a lot better. This is all copper. And we're just going to put it all together and see how it looks and see how it runs. Or just a benchmark, see how good it does. And I'll see if I can compare it to my current rig, if it is a comparison or not. And we'll go from there. So I'm going to go behind the TV. I'm going to get my GTX 1080. And I'm also going to get the uh, hard drive. And we'll get to the building.
I got everything built. There's a couple wires I need to move around, so I didn't get to film that, but. So I finally got it built, it's all put together. We're gonna turn it on, hopefully it gets a signal. And I got a Windows driver, a Windows USB drive in it, see if we can install Windows 10 on it. The power button doesn't work because the way this motherboard works is it doesn't have a 24 pin power supply connector. So the problem is you gotta jump that wire. So this will function as to power it off, but it will not function to turn on. So we're gonna flip the switch, see if it gets going. So we got some lights, Let's see if that fan rolls. Come on. Nothing? Oh, okay. Nothing's not working. Alright, so I'm gonna turn it off. I'm gonna flip some pins on here. See if we can get this thing to run. So take it off. So in here, there's jumpers right there. So I gotta take those and move them. Hopefully that boots it up. So I flipped it. Go back. So the tell it's working, like the computer itself's working, is when you flip the switch in the back, these two should spin fully. Because those are what's plugged into the motherboard. So they're not moving. Hopefully they go. Okay, here we go. Let's check on the TV. No signal. There's the post. And it's on. So, so my camera, this one right here, decided to overheat on me. So I can't use it right now. It only lasts about three minutes before it does anything. Anyway, uh, I got it installed Windows. I got a couple benchmarks installed. I didn't check Steam yet. I didn't check the games yet, so we're gonna go with that. So here's the computer running right now. I probably should just use my phone in the first place, but here you go. It's running real well. Airflow seems to be okay. So I'm gonna hook this up to my tripod and we'll go from there. We'll get some benchmarks going and hopefully we get something pretty good. Get our Intel Stream tuning utility out. Oh, uh, okay. So we're gonna stress test this thing. We'll stress test it for a little bit, see how high it gets. 74 just jumped up. Let's boot up Cinebench. Let's run Cinebench. Five hundred and twelve. Alright. Pretty pretty low in comparison to my new stuff. Do superposition benchmark at extreme and run. Four thousand seventy-seven. So I'll have to compare that with my my computer. I'll do Heaven's Benchmark. Take it on Extreme 1080p and Ultra. So let's go. And during these benchmarks, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna run the whole benchmark on the, the video. That's too much to do. Mark. Alright, so this benchmark had a high of 112 frames per second, a low of 23 frames per second, and a score of 2821. I'm going to save this one too. So I'm going to interrupt myself right now. And um, so what happened was, is on this build I don't have a Wi-Fi card. And because of this, I was trying to run games that I downloaded previously through a USB stick and then transfer them over. But without internet, you can't physically, like, 
it's like a, it's it says install, but it's not really installing. And because of that, I couldn't run these games, so I only could run pretty much just the regular benchmarks and um, Tomb Raider, and I could run an emulator. So we're gonna go with that, and then I'll have to make another video to kinda show what this computer can do. Alright, minimum FPS, maximum FPS, average FPS, all 120, so it had no dips at all on this little benchmark. So let's get into the game maybe and see how this runs. So, this is smooth. I mean, we're running at, it should be 120 FPS because I'm running at 120 Hz. And, uh, I mean, it's, it's good. Um, Obviously, it's a. It should be able to play games, but the whole point is. Is the processor gonna slow me down? And it doesn't seem like it is. It seems like it's doing a pretty good job. Uh, my tab out, let's check what, what's going on here in the hardware monitor. Uh, we're at 64 degrees, hit, it hit 72 at one point. Alright. Let's get into some emulation.
Alright guys, if you like this video, like it, if you guys liked it, dislike it, and leave some criticism below. If you like content like this, please subscribe, and with that, I'll be signing out. See you next time.